morning children today we are going to start yet another new chapter and its name is area and its boundary we have studied little bit about this in class 4 now area area is the space covered by any flat object for example i have this dupatta now this when i open this dupatta and put it on the floor some of the floor will get hidden by this dupatta so that space on the floor which is being hidden by the dupatta that is the area of this dupatta and perimeter now what is perimeter perimeter is the length of the boundary of a closed figure now for example we have this dupatta and if you see there is a lace on the corner of this dupatta so this lace has been put on the boundary of the dupatta this is a rectangle whose this length is 6 cm breadth is 5 cm again since the opposite sides in a rectangle are equal so this length is 6 cm and the breadth is 5 cm now i want to find out the area of this rectangle children the complete yellow portion of the rectangle is the area of the rectangle area is the surface covered by this figure since this figure this rectangle is lying on a white chart paper so the amount of chart paper you are not able to see because this rectangle has covered that amount of chart paper is the area of this rectangle now children you can see i have got many cutouts here all these cutouts this i have cut in such a manner that every side of the square is 1 cm now to find the area of this rectangle i am going to keep these squares throughout on this rectangle i am going to cover this rectangle with all these cutouts of the squares and the area or the surface covered by these red squares it that amount of surface is called 1 square cm why do we call it 1 square cm because that is the surface covered by this square whose every side is 1 cm so the area covered by this uh square whose every side is 1 cm is called 1 square cm so children i am going to arrange all these squares on this and then show it to you to show the area of this yellow rectangle i have got these squares each square has all sides equal to 1 cm since all the sides of a square are 1 cm then the space covered by one square one red square is called 1 square cm since you can see that the length of this yellow rectangle is 6 cm so i have been able to keep 6 1 cm squares side by side see 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and since the breadth of this yellow rectangle is 5 cm 
I have been able to keep five one square centimeters along this side. One, two, three, four, five. All these red squares, the area of each one of them is one square centimeter. So the area of the yellow rectangle if we want to find out we will have to add the area of all these squares so let us find out first of all how many squares are these six in one column and five rows like these so six fives are 30 there are 30 one centimeter squares so the area of the yellow rectangle is 30 square centimeters. So children you can see that these squares have not been kept very neatly because they are made of thin paper. If we paste them side by side you will not be able to see the yellow rectangle at all. And this is how we find the area. Area is the surface covered by a figure. The area of the rectangle is found out by keeping one square centimeters on the rectangle and then adding them all. So the area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth. Now length is 6 cm and breadth is 5 cm. So 6 multiplied by 5. 6 fives are 30 square cm. This is how we find the area of a rectangle. I bought this dupatta. It was white in color. Now I wanted to put a lace on this dupatta. Now I wanted to find out what is the length of the lace which is going to cover the complete boundary of this dupatta. So what I did, I measured the complete boundary of this dupatta and then I bought the lace. Then I bought the lace. So beta, whenever we have to find out how much of lace or border has to be put on any closed surface we need to find out the length of the boundary of that surface this is the boundary of the dupatta so i measured the boundary of the dupatta and this length of the boundary is called perimeter now this dupatta was white in color. I had to wear it with a red suit. So I wanted dupatta to be red in color. So I went to the person who colors the dupatta. And this portion which has been colored red, this portion is the area of dupatta. Right children? So this whole portion is the area of dupatta. I hope you would have understood the difference between area and perimeter. Let us talk about the perimeter of this rectangle. Earlier we talked about the area. Children often confuse between the area and the perimeter. Now children this complete portion which this rectangle is occupying is called its area. Now perimeter. Now if you look at this boundary of the perimeter of the rectangle. The boundary. This is the boundary of the rectangle. The length of this boundary of the rectangle is called its perimeter. We can use a scale to measure the length of all the four sides and we can add those lengths 
or we can use a string or ribbon and keep it along the boundary and then cut it and then measure it we can do it either ways so today i am going to use this ribbon to measure the length of the boundary so i am going to keep this ribbon very very carefully along the length see i am putting it along the length and after putting it along the length i will cut it okay now this this length which you are seeing this total length is the length of the boundary of this rectangle come let us now cut it and then we are going to measure this length with the help of a scale so now what i am going to do i am going to measure this ribbon's length with the help of a scale come i'm going to show it to you now now you look at this ribbon we had measured the length of the boundary with the help of this ribbon i have kept this ribbon on the scale and you can see that the length of this ribbon is 22 cm so children you saw how with the help of those small squares which i had cut those are 1 cm squares each of their side is 1 cm so the area which they cover that area is called 1 square cm how with the help of those squares we found out the area of the yellow rectangle and how with the help of the ribbon we found out the perimeter so children in our next video we will learn more about all these things that's all for today thank you and have a nice day